Everybody in London is food the fuck. But the Experimental Food Society is hosting a culinary exhibition featuring different foods, flavours and food experiments. I'm here in East London going to the exhibition to find out more. transform the tea into a cloud of steam so when you breathe the tea you get the taste of the tea that you will get a new experience of drinking because you can do that with every kind of liquids you can do that with a uh, cocktails you can do that with wine you can do that with soup a steamed cocktail you don't get any of the calories so it's calorie free but you do get the alcohol I'm just about to get my face on a piece of toast. First, I get my picture taken. Then the lady printed my face on a page, and then this lady put Marmite in a syringe and started painting Marmite all over my face on a page. And then the lady put the bread on my face and then popped my face in the toaster, and five minutes later, my face is on the toast. Grand. Now I can hang the toast in my bathroom and use it as artwork. My name is Fernando La Paz, I'm a product designer and this is my new project which is an edible camera. Everything is made out of edible materials, so you get recrystallized sugar to make the body and sugar glass to make the lenses. The idea is that you can custom cook your own effects uh, through the lenses by adding different colors and shapes, so you, get a, you can get a fisheye effect or you can get a regular effect. Um, and then once you're done with your camera, you take the film out, which is just off the shelf film, get it developed and then you can decide to either eat the camera or just put it under the sink with hot water and it just kind of disappears. So sustainability wise, it just also makes a lot of sense. So. The queen and the corgi completely made of sugar. This is the Robin Collective and they make historical bitters. To make these historical bitters, the Robin Collective goes into the homes and hangouts of these dead characters and extracts moisture. So Winston Churchill. They then add ingredients of items that are related to the characters, such as their favourite tobacco. You can then drink history. So we've made a, a bread which is, is gluten-free, almost entirely carbohydrate-free. And we've replaced normal flour with our own broccoli flour. So it's got all the great nutrients that you get. You get your iron, you get more vitamin C than an orange in the sandwich. Our way of trying to make something which isn't very nutritious a bit more nutritious. So I had a lovely day exploring, tasting and learning about food at the Experimental Food Society event. I do hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to find out what I'm up to next week, then subscribe to my channel and follow this Impala's journey.